Oh hi, Hickok 45 here, loading up 40, 35 Remington. See that cartridge? It's a butte. 200 grain, 35 Remington. And those are uh, actually they're federal, but they're they're uh, loaded with the 35 Remington bullet. They're factory rounds. So we're going to take a couple of shots, do a little bit of a chapter two with the 35 Remington. It's been a while. Gosh, seems like we did the first video with this uh, in the winter, as I recall. Either last winter or maybe a year ago in the winter. I don't know. We just haven't gotten it out. But uh, this is a really neat old gun. You notice I don't have the Skinner sights, the peep sights on this, this Marlin, the only Marlin that's uh, devoid of those because it's so old. This, is, this one goes back into the early 1950s. And you know, it had even that serration. I just hate to mess with it, uh, so I'm just going to keep this one the way it is. I think I'm not going to have it drilled and tapped and put on modern sights. I, I won't shoot it that much, probably 35 Remington. I don't load for it, it's expensive to shoot, but it's just a neat round. It's not that much more than 30 30, but yeah, since both rounds are mainly hunting rounds and you've got to buy factory ammo and there's no military surplus available and that kind of thing, I just went ahead with 35 Remington, especially in this old classic gun and this is the model 336 RC uh, made in the early 50s so I'm going to keep it the way it is uh, sights a little bit hard for me to see I, I do have uh, an alibi on this one it, it's a little blurry that's why I switched these out and put uh, peep sights or ghost ring sights on most of my long guns because it just clarifies everything for me and uh, so I'm going to be struggling with that but uh, you'll help me along a little bit feel sorry for me when I miss okay so let's take a couple shots and see what we can hit. I'll take a couple of easy ones here close first. Maybe do a little bowling first. Ah. Yes, that round will knock a bowling pin over. Let's try the big, well it's not big, but the 12 inch plate over there. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, I love that sound. Oh, here's another one. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and try one of these little ones. I really might have some trouble with them. I'm going to try that long one. Uh, horizontal one on the left. Felt like a hit. I must have hit it low. Let's put some more ammo in. Uh, those things, as uh, you know, if you've seen any of the Chapter 2 videos over here, are very heavy. They're a, an inch thick. They're difficult to lift even. And uh, it takes a, a good hit to knock them over. If you hit them on the, and the base is even thicker, I think, than an inch. Big old thick piece of steel. So if you hit it on the base, it might just sit there, regardless of what you hit it with. 308, or whatever. Okay, so we got six in. Let's go ahead and put uh, around the chamber. Be careful here, we're on the range. Put another one in, and we will have, yep, that's got to be closed. We'll have seven rounds. All right, we have seven to play with. And before we do that, let me uh, lay that down carefully. Wipe my glasses off. Let you take a look at it while I'm doing that. Again, it's another hot, sultry day that we're enjoying in Tennessee. Never too hot to shoot, though. We might get too hot to do some other things, but never too hot to shoot. All right. That's better. Maybe I can see the target. Can't use that for an excuse, other than that blurry rear sight. Okay. Whoops. Wasn't locking up there. Okay. All right. Let's try him again. I think I hit him on the base, maybe. So let me hold it up a little bit. A little more. <laughs> I think I hit it again. Let's move on to uh, another one, see if we can knock one of them over if we hit it. 
I'm just going to go to that tall one. Okay, I was looking through the fog, but I hit it. And, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to wipe my glasses off. I can't see anything. Tell you what, it is so hot and so humid, you wouldn't believe it. And that's one of the difficulties of uh, wearing glasses, of course. You have to keep them clear. Oh, man. All right, let's see if we can get a good shot here now. A good look, anyway. I tell you what, I hit him again. I'm going to move over to one of those uh, small ones to the right of him. There we go. Okay. Oops. Empty. All right. Nice to be hitting, though. All right, let's try again. 200 grain bullet soft point as you can see you have to use a soft point a round point or a, a flat point for a tubular magazine actually these are a little more round than I like than I feel really comfortable with going into a, a tubular magazine but uh, apparently they're all right everything I've read I'm not sure what's going on with that uh, lever I rarely ever get this gun out but it shouldn't have to hold that like that, I don't think. It's the only marlin that I do. This is an old one. Okay. There we go. Ah, success. <laughs> well, those things look awfully small from down this site, I tell you. All right. They're a little blurry and they're awfully small, but I tell you what, if you get a good trigger release, they will fall. Okay, that's a neat gun. I'll shoot a little more. This is an expensive gun to shoot, there's no doubt about it. But uh, came by a couple of boxes of rounds, uh, pretty cheap at a gun show. They were older, and a uh, guy was selling them, so uh, I was fortunate to do that. Don't shoot it very often, so I'm having my fun with it today on video. Yeah, I, I really like this round. It's just a, it's a little thumper. 200 grains. It's pretty cool. Okay. Let's uh, see what we can do with a few more here. If I can if I can see the sights well enough, although I was really looking through some fog and perspiration and uh, that blurry rear sight, but, uh, you know, still hit a few of them. All right. Let's try them again. I'll probably think of some more excuses before the day's over. Like there's too many butterflies in the air or something. All right, good feeling. Bad feeling. Bad feeling. Okay, I'm getting silly now. 
Got to slow down. I'm going to move to the one to the right, just for variety. Okay, take your time. There we go. It's amazing what can happen when you take your time, right? So, what we might do is uh, take another shot at that big horizontal one there, and then uh, try for the two liter. Uh, I mean, I can knock them all down here eventually playing around, but we don't want to shoot a hundred rounds of this stuff just uh, just because there's a target standing over there. Even though I hate to leave a target standing. Uh, we'll put at least six more, maybe seven in here. Yeah, that's a nice round. I've contemplated uh, hand loading this, but I don't think I would shoot it enough, uh, particularly in this gun. If I were going to shoot this gun a lot, I would, uh, I'd have to put some uh, a ghost ring sight on it, some Skinner sights or excess sights on it. And I don't really want to do that. So I'll have to hammer down easy. Okay, put another round in. Get him in there. All right. Now we have seven. Wow. What a high capacity gun we have now. All right. Seven rounds of 35 Remington. This is not an extremely common round. Some of you now not, might not have even heard of it. Some of uh, you younger shooters and people just getting into uh, shooting. But uh, it's a pretty, pretty nifty round. Very, very popular in some areas of the country. Particularly up in, uh, I think in Michigan and areas where they do some bear hunting and that kind of thing. All right. Well, let me take another one at that. Uh, the one I missed. Ah, I believe I hit it. That didn't fall. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to the long one, see if I can get one high enough on him to knock him down. Nope. Didn't rack one in. Short chucked it. And now I can't see again. So. You're seeing the real day at the range here. This is what we do. We shoot, we mess around, and if we have to stop, we do. If we miss, we miss. It's over. It's just not going to fall. Okay, let's go for the two liter. That's going to be a challenge too, actually. Not very big. Oh, nice. Dramatic. Dramatic. Okay. And I'm going to have to reload a little bit. And then we're going to take maybe one more shot at that guy over there before we take out these two, two liters right here in front of me. Okay. There's something about a lever gun, isn't it? They're just nice. And this one is almost 60 years old, so that's a that adds another dimension to it. it I mean, this gun is uh, just about as old as I am. It's a it's an old gun. It feels good. You notice the wood is kind of aged on it. It's uh, got some character. It's not abused. But it, uh, it just shows some age, the whole gun does. But it's even wear. Never, never really uh, been abused, it looks like. All right. Another two shots is the max I'm going to take at that little 
stand up over there. But I'm going to take two more shots at it, and I will just have to admit defeat. I'm sorry. It's only worth so much. Number one coming up. Might help have a round. <sighs> Number one coming up. last shot I was going to take at it. <laughs> now, watch me miss these guys. <laughs> okay. One more round. So, trials and tribulation of shooting in the hot summer heat with a gun that you can't see the sights too clearly on. But anyway, it's fun. I love uh, shooting this thing. A lot of fun. So glad you could come watch me miss and watch me hit because life is good.